Okay, I'm gonna try and do this as quickly as possible because the fleas out right now are unbearably bad. This beautiful, beautiful snake is a red milk snake, all right? This is one of the rarest snakes in the entire county. They're only found in one place throughout the entire county. Other than that, they're completely absent in Memphis. As you can see, these things are drop dead gorgeous, all right? They've got red, black, and white bands, kind of like a snake that a lot of you may know of called the coral snake, all right? The highly venomous coral snake. These guys are a blatant mimic to them, okay? So they, they have these colors so that you leave them alone, so that you think it's venomous, but it's actually not. As you can see, the red bands are touching the black bands on this snake, therefore meaning it's harmless, it's not venomous, can't hurt you. Now, if the red bands were touching the white bands, or if they were yellow bands and they were touching the red bands, then that's another issue, but <laughs> coral snakes don't live in Memphis. We don't get them here. You gotta go pretty far south before you start getting coral snakes. So if you're in or around Memphis and you see a red, black, and white snake, no need to fear. It's not a coral snake. It's just a harmless and beautiful milk snake. Okay, so these guys are actually in the king snake genus Lampropeltis. So this means that these guys will occasionally take down other snakes. They specialize on snakes, other reptiles, amphibians, small rodents, things like that. That's usually what they eat. Around here in Memphis, they only really live on the bluffs, all right? So they only live at the very tops and on the upland areas of bluff habitat. The Chickasaw Bluffs is what we have here. They don't typically live in the lowlands around here, so you don't really get these in the swamps in Memphis. A lot of the times you can find these guys on the edges of forests that actually have a field bordering it, so these guys will actually utilize open habitats, especially if it's a farm field, okay? Because farms, as you know, attract a lot of rodents. They attract a lot of uh, things for these guys to eat, so that's one place they really like to hang out. They lay eggs, so they're not like the pit vipers that give birth to live young. They actually lay eggs just like a speckled king snake or a black king snake would, since they are in the same genus after all. Absolutely enthralled that I found this snake. I didn't think I was going to. Well, I kind of did, but I didn't know for sure if I was going to. So the fact that I did is just great. Less than a few days ago, I found a dead one on the road. Absolutely devastating. From that point on, I wanted to find a live one, and I think it was only two days later I found this gorgeous guy sitting right along the edge of this forest that's right on top of a Chickasaw Bluff right now. It's just a treasure. It really is. It's a forest treasure, a bluff treasure, and uh, I couldn't be happier that I have this thing in my hands right now. So I'm going to go ahead and let him go, and uh, that's the red milk snake. Hope you all have seen something cool about this guy. That's his way of saying goodbye. All right. <laughs> awesome snake. <laughs>